Bottom line is we just don't know. And the problem is, is when you eat something, say glyphosate, there's a 10, 20 year lag between disease and the intervention. So glyphosate came about in the 60s. It was meant to clean pipes originally. Hmm. And then it was a weed killer and it was used, but not dramatically. But then in the 90s, GMO food came out and Roundup Ready crops, which meant you can kill all the weeds, but not the crops. And usage went through the roof. Would you put it in your body if you had a choice? I certainly wouldn't. Um, you know, everyone asks me that. And what we know is it can kill bacteria in your GI tract. It could disrupt your endocrine system. And there's reasonable data that it can increase risk of lymphoma. Mm. So based on all of those is probably not good. And in the last couple of years, more and more uh, farms across the world are using it to kill all of their crops right before harvest so it's easier to harvest. Mm. So the levels have gone up dramatically in the last decade. How does it actually get into like our Cheerios and other oat-based oat foods? You said that would love Cheerios. I do. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I put it. Don't mess with my Cheerios. <laughs> I saw it in your eyes. So they.